Israeli plans to assassinate Saddam Hussein were revealed on December 16, 2003. In 1992, the IDF, according to the story, was reportedly disappointed that Saddam had remained in power after Desert Storm and so sold a plan to the government to retaliate against the Iraqi dictator for his deadly use of Scud missiles against Israel during the Gulf War. Various schemes were considered, among them crashing an Israeli plane in Iraq and then blowing it up when Hussein inevitably came to inspect it. Another called for the use of a European shell company, which would sell the dictator a modern television studio, only to blow it up as he made his first broadcast. A variation of this theme would see the company win a contract to build a monument and then, you guessed it, blow it up during the dedication ceremony. The IDF eventually settled on a commando raid on Saddam's motorcade as he attended the funeral of an uncle. With only days to act, a rushed rehearsal took place and this ended in disaster when a miscommunication led one half of the team to fire live missiles instead of practice missiles at the other half of the team that was playing the role of Saddam's motorcade, leaving five dead and six injured. 